Hello, and welcome to Locals Live. Today we are joined by Mothra, an indie rock band based out of Eugene, Oregon. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourselves. How long have you guys been playing together? Um, Kristen and I have been playing together for um, around two years, and then um, we kind of brought everyone else together about like six, over six months ago. So, yeah. Yeah, so uh, how did you guys meet? Um, <laughs> yeah, so Krista messaged me on Instagram, and I put a whole bunch of ads out because I really wanted to start um, a very welcoming community for myself and the people that I choose. So I chose Krista, and then JP came along, and I really liked what he had to offer. So, and then uh, Rena was the last member, um, and she has proven to be one of the best drummers that I have, or that we have played with. So, yeah. Thank you, Belle. That's awesome. Uh, how uh, how did you uh, uh, how has the local community influenced you as musicians and artists? Um, I know the Eugene music scene itself, whenever I moved to Eugene about three years ago, inspired me to start a band and, and making music, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I went to a couple of shows when I was like a freshman and I was like, well, I've always wanted to be in a band. And then I saw people like looking at the people playing and I was like, I can, I can do that. I can definitely do that. What? Yeah, so. I think I might be different from the rest of these guys. I've been playing in band since I was 12. Um, so, uh, but when I was like in high school and middle school, I was like really like classic rock centered. Uh, you can see it in my solos, the way I play. My influences are a lot of classic rock people. And when, when I came to Eugene, um, I came when I was a freshman uh, is when COVID hit and obli obliterated the music scene. So I didn't get to go to a lot of live shows, um, but I did listen to a lot of um, bands, uh, local bands on Spotify. And that's when I, I, that's what really got me into like the indie music style. I feel like Eugene's really like, it has a really special music scene. I feel like there's a lot of different in influences that come in. Um, through the music scene in Eugene, and that's kind of like, it, it shifted my style a little bit to be more indie versus classic rock. Um, and this is the first band that I've been in, so I'm very new to the music scene, um, but I love how welcoming they are, and the other bands, they always remember my name, which is really nice, so I feel really special, and yeah, so I love it. That's great. So you mentioned COVID. Uh, now that you're able to play again after COVID has kind of died down some, how do you feel that the music environment has changed? Do you feel it has changed? Um, it, yeah, I feel like it's changed pretty significantly. I mean, everyone being like mindful of like the DIY small and tight spaces is, is pretty important now. And I think a general like uh, increase in like safety and not only like you know, spreading germs, but also like, you know, information on drugs and, and things like that has increased. And so that's really nice. I'd say like a lot of um, DIY like venues have put a lot more consideration into like what JP was saying, like into safety precautions and making it like not a professional setup, but as professional as a do it yourself can be. Um, like having tickets online and being having security and things like that. Another thing, I guess it's hard for me to say because I wasn't involved in the scene beforehand, um, but I feel like there's been more shows that got shut down due to noise complaints uh, post-COVID versus pre-COVID. I also think it's a lot of working together with other people. A lot of people have mask preferences and um, you just have to compromise with those things in respects to their ideas about what safety is. Very neat. Uh, so on a, on, a, on a less serious note, what, what would your dream venue to play at be? Red Rocks Amphitheater. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. Or maybe the Crystal Ballroom in Portland. It's a really sick one. Historical. I was going to say that one too. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have each of you been playing music individually? 
I'd say somewhere around like five to six years, something like that. Yeah. Um, I started in fifth grade in orchestra playing the stand up bass. So I'd say like 12 years. I started playing guitar when I was six years old, maybe five years old, first grade, however old I was. I've been playing for about five and a half years. So what inspires your music the most when you're writing music or whoever's writing music? Yeah. I mean, me and JP write most of the songs. For me, it's um, a lot of like dealing with certain mental illnesses and um, I just write when I feel like I have a problem to solve. And I mean, it doesn't exactly solve it, but it helps because I have other people who I'm going to share it to who might understand. Um, and that helps because I know that people can relate to it, so. Um, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. And uh, to add on that, uh, I usually try to uh, write a song based off a certain like deep core emotion and, and, and try to pull or convey that emotion like through music and uh, yeah like I could f find inspiration for that through other artists or like you know in anything in life that I find to be like you know inspiring. I'd like to I guess I feel like because uh, most of the songs that we all the songs that we've played in Mothra thus far have been written by Bello JP. I feel like um, Rena feel free to add to this but I feel like the job of Rena and I has kind of been to like kind of help whatever their vision is is that kind of come to life. Um, I've written, like, for debasing, I wrote, um, that's something that Bell and I wrote before JP Arena came along, um, and I helped, I guess, kind of, like, write that guitar line and figure out, like, this, this is the, uh, this is the music that, music that best kind of, like, encapsulates is that a word? The best captures <laughs> um, the the vibe that Bell is going for, and this is the guitar line. Um, this is the solo that best, like uh, whatever the emotion of the song is, is like this is what drives it. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I try to channel. Very cool. And kind of along that line, do you have a process you use for when you're writing music, or do you just kind of jam and find it out as you go? I like to say that. Um, I quote, poop them out. They just, they just come whenever they want, and they come every day. Ideas come every day, and so I just have to. My brain's like, you gotta do it. You gotta take it, and you gotta do it right now. And so I don't really have a choice um, when I when a riff or when an idea comes. So, yeah. Yeah, I would uh, I would say that I mostly um, write from I write the chord progressions first, or um, or I'll be like jamming with friends and find something cool. Um, but whenever we write songs, we'll bring them to the band, and and we all essentially write it at that point, and it becomes like more concrete and developed over time. I agree with that. I feel like one of one of those two will bring a song to the band, and we kind of just jam it for a few times until like um, we figure out how what what sounds good. We'll record it so we can practice at home. Until Rena comes up with this amazing, unique, never thought of drum line, yeah. um, and I try to find guitar little doodads or whatever that fit. Yeah, I usually have a song ready with a structure, and everyone has to put their own sound to it. I, I can't write it for them. I want them to do it for themselves because then it's not their song too. Um, I feel like it's important for us to know um, that we our songs are a group effort. Um, the Bell and JP have like brought like the the lyrics and like the basic structure to us. Um, they they bring us the foundation, and as a group, we kind of build it up. Feel free to disagree with me, but I feel like that's that's kind of what what we do. That's really great. Uh, are you working on recording and releasing anything upcoming? Yes, we have a single coming out really soon. It's being mastered right now. And after that, we will have a lot of other material. Um, so yeah. We recorded um, a lot of our set, not all of it, but a lot of it. Um, 
We won't tell you which songs. Yeah. <laughs> we recorded last spring, and then it's being mixed and mastered right now. That's great. I look forward to hearing it. And I look forward to hearing you later today. Thank you for coming on the show today.
There's a dead moth on the ceiling.
Should think before.